ready to bend Honduran mahogany. I'm making my slat, and you can see I have the slat, wet paper, wood, another piece of paper. Okay, another piece of paper on here. It's hard doing it one-handed. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spritz, just enough to make it damp. My slat and the blanket on top. The reason I put the blanket on top is you can see the pattern of the heating element. If you get that against the wood, when you finish, you're going to find that pattern in your wood, and that's not a good thing. So next step will be going to the bending machine. Okay, this is bending just regular uh, mahogany, Honduran, or, uh, or African will bend the same basic way. I have this little stick that I use, and that you can see is from here, and that's to the end of where my wood is. So that positions this piece of wood into the bender. Now, when I set this up, you can see I have the weights on here. They are applying pressure and keeping everything intact. My heat is now coming up to 220 degrees, as you can see. So at this point, I'm pretty much ready to bend. I'm going to pull this down. And you can see I just gently walk it. Once I have it in position, okay, I can go to the front. So here we go to the front. We're still damp. And I'm gently pulling this in. And you can see my springs are in a somewhat of a straight line. And now I can run the waist down. All right, there we go. So lower bout was bent first, upper bout, then the waist call. Then I adjust my variable position on here. And I want to be above 220 and under 275. Right now I'm at 275 here. I'm going to let this temperature come up a little bit. I do suspect I might have a weak battery on there. So I'm going to throw, yeah, you can see the temperature coming up now. It, it actually felt hotter than what it was saying. So we want to go again, start bending in the 225, 250 range, hit 275 to the front. And then when we set the variable, we go to 275. And you can go as high as 350 to set your, your bends. And that is how I do this. Now, once I let this sit, it's going to take about a half an hour, 45 minutes to cool down, and I'll have the guitar set. There we go. Thanks for your support. Please hit subscribe and like.